All right, now it's time for us to take a look at my culture, where at least 500 children, accompanied by their parents and guardians, converge to celebrate Kids Diwali in Nairobi. Well, this week on my culture, we take a look at uh, how the young ones uh, celebrate and usher in Diwali festival. At the BAPS Sri Swaminarayan Mandir, over 500 children, parents and guardians gather at the temple. The group comes together to celebrate Diwali festival. Diwali, also known as the Festival of Lights, is an ancient Hindu festival celebrated annually and is considered to be the most significant festival in Hinduism while also being celebrated by Buddhist, Jains and Sikhs. <laughs> At the Mandir, the celebration of the Festival of Lights prioritized the celebration of Diwali for the youngest community members. Kids Diwali is a festival where all kids come together. It doesn't matter any culture or anything, but all kids come together. Here we learn a lot. We learn creativity, accuracy. We learn about so much about our culture. Diwali is a, it's whereby people come together. Similarly, Kids Diwali is when kids come together and uh, make new friends and do fun activities. The celebration aiming at enlightening the children on their culture and religion, incorporating moral values, discipline, expanding the kids' knowledge on science and mathematics, as well as creativity, among others. They kick off the festival with Mahapuja. So, firstly, we started the Kids Diwali by uh, Mahapuja, means it's a puja. Yeah, we perform the puja in order to attain blessings from God. It's like a spiritual uh, ritual we perform in order to attain blessings. In this ritual, we had a string that we tied to our hand, which is called the Nada Chari, which is here. This Nada Chari. It's used for, it's given to us for protection. At the same time, to commemorate Diwali, they illuminate oil lamps and candles to symbolize the triumph of light over darkness and good over evil. After Mahapuja, we had a mini Ankut, which is a mountain of foods that was made by us kids this time. Once they complete the Ankut, the kids are engaged with various outdoor activities, including hundreds of games to educate on creativity, accuracy, teamwork, visual memory, strategy, leadership, critical thinking, among other skills. For some indoor activities where we learned about, ex uh, we learned about our spiritual stories through experiments. So one of the experiments was about um, a balloon. So when you keep some, when you keep like baking soda in it and then you put it into soda, like it will flow. It will uh, blow. So we learned that we should be responsible and make, and make our parents happy. Once they complete the outdoor activities, they are then led into different escape rooms, all crafted with themed puzzle-solving exercises where players work together to escape the room based on their knowledge on the structures designed in the temple. Four stars will lead you to a secret uh, room where also over there you have to perform tasks. And those tasks are also helpful to us because they help us in our religion. Not only in religion, they also help us in other stuff like maths and because like, you have to like open padlock, so you need to get the key by the hints provided. In that, we are supposed to find the different uh, different types of the the parts of a temple. In that, you, you are given locks, and then now we are taught about the parts of a temple. According to celebrants. Diwali is the most anticipated cultural festival year in, year out. Diwali means happiness, a festival of eating, uh, like eating a lot of food, uh, meeting my relatives, which I have not been able to throughout the year. Jackie Wimbiru, my culture.